Zeke the robot has powered to Earth to learn all about our animals. Let's join Zeke on his adventure as he goes under the sea and discovers these fantastic fish, terrific turtles, and delightful dolphins. Strap on your explorer boots and hold on tight as we venture into Zeke's animal world. First up, Zeke, we're going to look at coral. Did you know that coral is found in every ocean in the world and are the largest living structures on the planet? Although many people mistake coral as plants, they are actually animals, Zeke. A coral reef is a large underwater wall made of dead and living coral. It acts as the home of many tropical fish and other animals. The Great Barrier Reef in Australia is the largest structure ever built by living creatures and has one of the biggest collections of coral in the world. Actually, Zeke, coral reefs occupy 1% of Earth's surface, but are home to over 4,000 species of fish, 700 species of coral, and thousands of other animals and plants. Coral reefs only grow in areas where the water is clear because of single-celled plants called algae. These plants need lots of light, Zeke, because the coral gets their oxygen from algae to stay healthy. Corals reproduce through spawning and in many parts of the world they spawn all at the same time, during the same night, a few times a year. Most of the coral's food comes from tiny algae, Zeke, called zooxanthellae. Wow, that's a big word. They live in the coral. The algae then converts energy from the sun into food for the coral. Coral grows at right angles to the current of the water. This makes it easier for them to catch plankton to eat. Okay, Zeke, let's see what you've learnt about the world's coral. You know that they're found in all the world's oceans and that they live in a place called a reef. The coral's food is created by algae and plankton and they spawn only a few nights a year. Watch out, Zeke, that animal behind you is an octopus. The pupil of an octopus's eye is rectangular and they have eight arms called tentacles. Each arm has two rows of suction cups that help the octopus to tell what he can eat. These underwater creatures also have membranes between their arms that they use to catch crabs, shrimp and snails, Zeke. Octopuses are found in oceans all over the world. They live on the bottom of the sea. During the day, an octopus hides and then comes out at night to hunt. Octopuses can squirt black ink to cloud the water, keeping predators from finding them as they escape. Yes, Zeke, it is true that octopuses are very intelligent and can even open the lids of glass jars. Let's discover what you know about the octopus. You know that they have eight tentacles and suction cups that help them find food. You also know that they're smart sea creatures and squirt ink to escape predators. Now, Zeke, onto my favorite underwater animal, the seahorse. The seahorse is one of the slowest underwater animals and takes about two and a half days to travel just one kilometer. Yes, that is a very long time. The seahorse may appear as if it wears armor. Its body is covered with bony rings and ridges, and some species are partly transparent. The seahorse's eyes don't work together like human eyes, Zeke, 
so seahorses can actually see in two different directions at the same time. These creatures slurp down baby fish and plankton through their snouts because they don't have teeth or stomachs. Found in many oceans all over the world, it's the male seahorse Zeke that has the babies, up to 400 at a time. Okay, Zeke, let's test your knowledge on the seahorse. You know that they eat through their snouts and can see in two different directions with their eyes. Some species are transparent, and it's the male seahorse who is the one who gets pregnant. These underwater creatures are beautiful, Zeke, but sometimes deadly. A jellyfish has no bones or shell to create its shape. It's made up of only a stomach, a skin that protects it, and its tentacles. The jelly of the jellyfish is made up almost entirely of seawater. Most jellyfish are drifters that feed on small fish and zooplankton that become caught in their tentacles. To capture prey for food, jellyfish have a net of tentacles that contain poisonous, stinging cells. However, regardless of their size or shape, most jellyfish are very fragile, Zeke. A group of jellyfish is called a smack, and they can be found in every ocean in the world, just like our other underwater creatures. They may not have bones or brains, but boy, can they sting. The sting of some jellyfish can be deadly, while others are harmless to humans. Did you know, Zeke, that jellyfish are thought to have been around for 650 million years and that there are over 10,000 species? Jellyfish have no swimming skills. They just float along in the direction of the ocean current. Pretty cool, hey, Zeke? OK, let's recap what we've learned about the jellyfish. Zeke, you've discovered that this sea creature is made up of 95% water and that they can catch their food in their tentacles. You know that they like to drift through the water and that a group of jellyfish is called a smack. Now, Zeke, it's time to look at the largest living fish in the world, the whale shark. You're right, they don't look much like a fish. Besides its size, the whale shark is also named for its feeding habits. But don't worry, these big fish don't eat whales. Despite having teeth, the whale shark doesn't rely on its teeth to feed. Instead, it is a suction filter feeder, Zeke, which means it can swallow a big gulp of water and eat the food that enters its mouth at the same time. Each whale shark has unique markings on their bodies, making it easier for scientists to tell them apart. The body is mostly grey with a white belly and the skin is marked with pale yellow spots and stripes. No, Zeke, the whale shark is actually solitary, which means they like to be alone and are rarely seen in groups, unless feeding at locations with a lot of food. Whale sharks live in warm water, both along the coast and in open seas, and spend most of their time near the surface. Let's see what it is, Zeke, that you've learnt about whale sharks. You know they get their food through a filter-like method and that they like to be alone. They're recognised by their unique spots on their backs and they're the world's largest fish.
Now, Zeke, it's time to look at fish. A fish is a vertebrate. Zeke, that means that they have a backbone. Fish, like people, need oxygen to live. They have gills that are located on the sides of their heads, and after fish open their mouths and take in water, they pump it to the gills. This helps fish to breathe underwater. The female fish usually lays the eggs, and the eggs then develop and hatch outside her body. Did you know, Zeke, that there are over 29,000 species of fish, making them the most diverse group of vertebrates in the world? Most fish are cold-blooded, although some, such as tuna and sharks, are warm-blooded. This means that the body temperature of most fish is the same as the water they live in. A fish has two sets of fins, the pectoral fins that are near the head and the pelvic fins that are further down the body. Along the top of the trunk are the dorsal fins and fins towards the back of the fish are called anal fins. The dorsal and anal fins are for balance, Zeke, and the others are for movement. Fish eat a variety of food, including plants, and sometimes even other fish. They also feast on algae and sometimes plankton. Most species of fish have scales that help to protect them. A fish's scales help to detect predators and prey. Did you know, Zeke, that a group of these underwater animals are called a school of fish? Most fish are colorblind. They can see color shadings, reflected light, shape and movement, but can't determine color. Fish can be found in almost every type of water. They're found in hot desert springs, in dried mud in tropical ponds and deep in the ocean. Some live in fresh water, some in salt water and some in both. Fish are an important source of food in many cultures, Zeke. Other water-dwelling animals such as oysters, crabs and shellfish are also often used as food. Let's examine what you've learnt about these underwater animals, Zeke. You know that there are over 29,000 species of fish in the world and that they breathe through their gills. You also know that the female lays eggs outside the body and that they are cold-blooded animals. Our next animal, Zeke, is a friendly seal. Seals have a sleek, streamlined, torpedo-shaped body, which makes them among the world's best divers. They also keep warm from the cold by a thick layer of blubber. Zeke, seals are found along most coasts and cold waters, but their biggest numbers are in the Arctic and Antarctic oceans. Seals feed in cold, open waters and eat a wide variety of fish, squid, octopus and crustaceans, such as shrimp. Small fish are swallowed whole, while larger ones are held in the seal's mouth and torn into smaller, more easily swallowed pieces. Unlike whales and dolphins, seals give birth on land. They breed in a variety of habitats, including rocky shores, sandbars and islands. Seals also have flippers that help them move on land and through the water, Zeke. OK, let's discover what you know about seals. You know that their bodies are sleek, 
and that they propel through the water with their flippers. You know that they're found in the world's oceans and that they give birth on land. These animals, Zeke, are among the most beautiful of all underwater creatures. That's right, it's the turtle. Turtles have hard, protective shells, Zeke, that are made up of 59 to 61 bones covered by plates called scoots. Like human bones, a turtle shell is part of its skeleton. The turtle can't crawl out of it because the shell is permanently attached to the spine and the rib cage. Turtles have webbed feet for swimming. Sea turtles are especially adapted for aquatic life, with long feet that form flippers and a streamlined body shape. They rarely leave the ocean, except Zeke when the females come ashore to lay their eggs. Turtles don't have teeth. Instead, their mouths have a hard, sharpened edge that they use to bite with, kind of like a bird's beak. Most turtles are omnivores, so they'll eat both plants and animal food of various kinds, Zeke, like fish, snails, worms or insects. Some are strictly herbivores though and only eat grasses, leafy plants, flowers, fruits and even cactus. These endangered species are reptiles and very strong swimmers. They're cold-blooded animals, which means their body temperature is the same as the water they swim in. Zeke, turtles don't have ears like humans. They can feel vibrations and changes in water pressure that tell them where food or a predator might be. They also have a great sense of smell, which helps them find food. Sea turtles lay their eggs in sand. The temperature of the sand determines the sex of the young turtles. Cooler sand produces male turtles, Zeke, while warmer sand produces females. All turtles lay eggs, with some species laying only a few eggs, while others lay up to a hundred or more. Once the eggs are laid, they're all on their own. Did you know that they can live for up to 100 years, Zeke? Baby turtles are carried out to sea on ocean currents and can travel thousands of kilometers around the ocean before they're fully grown. When they reach breeding age, they return to the area where they hatched to lay their own eggs. Let's recap, Zeke, about what we've discovered about the turtle. You know that they have a hard protective shell and that they live in water. You know that the female lays the eggs on land and that turtles are an endangered species. Now, Zeke, it's time to examine the dolphin. Although they live in water, dolphins are mammals and breathe air through their blowhole, which is located at the top of their head. Some types of dolphins must rise to the surface to breathe every 20 to 30 seconds, while others can hold their breath as long as 30 minutes. Dolphins are highly social, playful, curious and intelligent. They live in groups or families called pods. Male dolphins are called bulls and female dolphins are called cows. A baby dolphin is called a calf. Dolphins also work together to eat. They are carnivores, Zeke, and eat mostly fish and squid, and sometimes crustaceans. 
Dolphins have a thick layer of fat under their skin called blubber, which helps them to keep warm. They also have excellent vision and well-developed eyes, Zeke, that help them to see in the water at night time. Dolphins are often found in large herds of hundreds or even thousands. They're extremely active, move very fast, and can leap out of the water very high. They also stick very close to the bow and stern of boat Zeke, much to the delight of the people on them. Found in all tropical waters, dolphins send messages to one another in different ways. They squeak and whistle and use body language, leaping as high as six meters in the air, slapping their tails on the surface of the water, and even butting heads. Okay, Zeke, let's see what you've discovered about these beautiful animals. You know that they're among the most intelligent animals in the world and that they love to be social. And you know that they have a blowhole and that they're found in tropical waters. On to our last underwater animal now, Zeke, and that is the Humboldt penguin. Humboldt penguins are carnivores, Zeke, and mostly eat krill, fish, squid, and other forms of sea life caught while swimming underwater. They spend half of their life on land and half in the ocean. Penguins are birds, but they don't fly. The body of a penguin is made for swimming in the ocean and catching food underwater. Yes, Zeke, that does sound complicated. Humboldt penguins are medium-sized, black and white penguins that grow up to 70 centimeters tall. They have a broad black band that runs in an inverted horseshoe shape around their fronts and their chest is dotted with a few black spots in a random pattern. Their feathers are stiff and overlap to waterproof and keep their bodies warm. Like all penguins, they have excellent eyesight both underwater and on land. While some penguins live in the icy Antarctic, these penguins prefer to nest on islands and rocky coasts. Did you know, Zeke, that Humboldt penguins can blush? When they get too hot, they have to avoid overheating, so their face, wings and feet go pink. Okay, let's see what you've discovered about our last underwater animal. You know that they have a horseshoe shape on the chest and they have feathers and they eat fish and they create nests to live in. I hope you've learned a lot about our animals under the sea, Zeke. See you next time.